Okay, so I was scrolling on Jubilee's YouTube page and there's a video that came out three months ago called One Real Virgin versus Five Fakes. Now, I don't know why you would want to be a fake virgin in this video. I, do you get paid? Because then I understand. Then I can pretend to be one of those weird virgin losers, I guess, who don't um, do the bones. That's... You know, that's what you call it, doing the bones. Um, I do think this would be an interesting thing to check out just because I don't know why you would sign up for this or who's doing this. Are we taking advantage of people? <laughs> I don't know. Let's check it out. I'm a virgin. 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 Only one is telling the truth. And we're, we're here, here to find, find the real virgin. virgin. Okay, so there's there's one one Virgo, one Virgi Virginia, one Virginia. Ooh, mm, no, not a good thing to say, especially for these guys. Um, what kind of questions? It's ugh, I love this so much because the questions are obviously going to vary. I want these people to go in. I want them to be absolutely wild with their questions. Hey, have you ever thought about sex? Are you um, an incel? Are you trying? Are you purposely a virgin? Are you waiting till marriage? Um, you know, sort of just the the wide array, the buffet of virgin dumb, if you will. Let's get into it for this first round. Give us a little introduction. I'm Brian. Um, I'm a chem major trying to get into forensic science. I like anime video games. Cool. <laughs> I think he's in there because it's too easy. You know, it looks too easy for him to just be the verge. I think he's like a fucking he's a sex worker or something, something like boom, this guy Naruto speed runs into bed. I'm Caleb and I have anxiety. <laughs> that may be our fella. I chose to say I have anxiety because I have anxiety. End of story. Uh, my name oh, is no. Andre. I make music, think J. Cole, and I make content. I'm Austin. I like to collect moss in my free time and moss, like the like, like a plant. plant, yeah, like, like you go outside and, and touch grass and stuff. I don't need to. It's in my room. Oh, <laughs> I think moss is really beautiful when it's in like a small terrarium or ecosystem. It kind of gives like a like a little mini fairy tale. <sighs> now I've always wanted to do one of these jubilee or cut videos, but this to me. Are, are we playing it up? We have to be playing it up. Hey, tell me something about yourself. The one guy was like, yeah, I'm a content creator. I do whatever. Like, of course, all these people are most likely content creators or just watch this content. This guy's like, yeah, I like Moss. The other guy's like, yeah, I have anxiety. And I told them I have anxiety because I do have anxiety. <laughs> Vibe. I'm TJ. I'm a, hopefully a future dentist, recent college grad. And I like playing basketball in my free time. I was sussed out about like TJ and Brian from the start, especially TJ, because like he just, he looks like he has sex. I'm Caleb, uh, I'm from Fresno, California, and I am a social media manager at my church, and I also make music, and I'm a podcast producer as well. Mmm, church, church, oh boy, only good things happen in the church, I've heard. I... So far, I think possibly most likely TJ. Run social media for my church. I was like, "Do you? Do you run social media for your church?" Coming into this, I had an idea yes. of yes, he who does. might be a virgin for whatever reason. Right? Okay. You do you. You know, I feel like wearing a Naruto shirt is a little too obvious. You know, I like Naruto too, but I'm not a virgin. I feel like people that go to cons or like watch anime, like they're, they're freaky. Freaks. They're yeah, freaky. Yeah, I think like, so let me too. tell you, you're, it. you're a freak, aren't you? No. Yeah. No, not a freak. I have you seen like furry sex? I mean, I've never seen furry sex, but like furries get down. Furries. Fur D's nuts. I don't know. Good I think one, I'm. Mm. Uh, 
I probably shouldn't have brought the Naruto t-shirt. I also feel like the, the, the social media manager for the church, I feel like- For the church, it's a little too- I feel like obvious, it's too on right? the nose. This guy's giving us nothing, so I'm automatically <laughs> super sus about him. He looks like a, like a, like a cartoon, he's dressed like a cartoon character. <laughs> Just roasting the shit out of him. <laughs> hey. Hey, you look like a fucking cartoon character. You look like Michael Sarah animated. You look like a fucking freak, dude. <laughs> I love that so much. Obviously, they're not like really roasting him, but this is the person who prefaced everything by saying that he has anxiety, crippling, if you will. Yeah, kind of like Phineas and Fur. <laughs> yeah, he just gave nothing. So now they just vote. Who they think is a fake virgin? The first person eliminated like TJ is... or something. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Skip. TJ. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I guess that's, that's right. a compliment because they're like, oh, there's no way he's a virgin. But also, like, I feel like I could have proved myself my virginity better if I had more time. But it is what it is. Yeah. But here's the thing. You are you look and sound like you have game and it seems as though some of these other people do not you should have really fully played a character if you were not the virgin you know you should really god damn you really should have leaned into that shit because nobody's sussing you out I'm sussy <laughs> Nobody's sussing you out thinking that you are the fucking virgin, especially like this tie dye isn't fooling anybody. You look like a frat bro. If you are all claiming to be virgins, what is your reasoning? It can be such a sensitive topic. There's so many reasons. And I think it was hard teetering that line of being, you know, sensitive and open minded, but also trying to figure out the answer. I love that Jubilee is like leaving this up to the two people <laughs> guessing they're like uh yeah you, it's a really sensitive topic um you deal with it you're one of the contestants you deal with it <laughs> fuck off man that's mean i uh i'm a christian stay pure before marriage and everything so i believe in that even before i wasn't a christian though like i i just felt god pulling me like kind of away from that just to protect me in a way and so that's kind of like why i've just kind of like stayed away the from tmg it. shirt <laughs> in the tmg shirt is throwing me off a little bit though because if i mean pff, the most ungodly people i've ever heard of are noel miller and cody co come on if it's hard to meet people with similar hobbies i'm not really great with going out and meeting new people no it's tough out there. he's not a virgin. Uh, man of god i grew up pentecostal but now i'm more non-nominational uh, a lot of my music I believe him is themed in christian themes it's not, i'm not necessarily a christian rapper but it kind of weaves in there so i i want to walk what I preach. I'm not waiting for anything. I just have anxiety. That's my issue. Hmm. Super honest. Don't. <laughs> Don't know if I believe the fella. Um, but I also believe the fella. You know what I mean? He looks and sounds like somebody who has really really bad anxiety the way he carries himself and maybe he's not lying at all and maybe he just hasn't found the right person but i know people who are terrible in social situations and they still get it you know i have anxiety i'm like me too bro but what does that mean okay you've done it when you like you talk to a girl and you like bring her home and like you've kissed a girl and stuff like that but i've never gotten to the point like where i've actually hooked up with her i literally just spoon her the entire night <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Brutally honest. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Like girls, girls don't generally find me attractive. Um, I I meet a lot of people who has in common with anime, but like we only really just talk about like anime video games, and that's really about it. Like doesn't go further than that. With Brian, I was just sus about him from the start. But like just like from the answers, I was like, like you're trying to be too convincing. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> What do you mean? Like at the end of this, he's gonna be like, "Yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm actually a, a fucking stockbroker." <laughs> I, I believe that Brian is who he says he is. Okay, for, for virginity, to, like define virginity to you. Like, what is? It? I feel like it's pretty hard to define. I think typically people think of like penetrative sex, but that's obviously not always um, the case. I think what? it's up to the two people to decide. 
like what that is. Yeah, if you're straight, it's definitely like pounding the punani, but like if- No, he's a character. He's absolutely a character. I- <laughs> Holy shit. He- uh, No, no, that's not real. That can't be real. You're not, then- I mean, it's definitely like intercourse. That's why I would like. Yeah. yeah. All right, cut the bullshit. What's everyone's favorite porn category? <laughs> Do Christians watch porn? I don't know anything about Christianity or like. Do you, are you allowed to do that? I sound like such a fucking freak, but like, I don't. The Christians that I've been around aren't the people who are like, yes, masturbation. I'm going to talk about my experience. <laughs> I don't have one. I, I straight up just don't. I don't so know. you just like click on whatever. Uh, if yeah, when I, if if I do it, then yeah. <laughs> oh, my pastor gonna kill me. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reverse gangbang. Yeesha, Mishka, Mushka, Mickey Mouse. Look at this guy's face. I don't even know what that means. I bet I could probably do the math and, you know, put two and two together, or three and three together, or four and four together. <laughs> but I don't want to. I'm all set. So hard. That's pretty intense. <laughs> Who doesn't watch porn? They thought I was sus, but that's clearly not even sus. I feel like... See, here's the thing. If you are so, so, so outwardly specific about the kind of porn that you watch, I feel like you are more likely to be a virgin. You know? You're like, yeah, I look at a... I have an Apple Vision Pro. I watch, um, you know, for, for lolly lolly porn and uh and it's three-dimensional and i'm in vr on the moon doing like i feel like the people who are able to be like no yeah i watch reverse gangbang porn are more likely to uh just be watching that and not doing anything in real life us virgins watch porn i also don't really like watch uh videos but i like read uh like hentai my guy. Don't laugh at him. Oh, this is so hard. I think he's lying. I also think he's lying because I don't know the the reverse gangbang really did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like if if you're gonna watch something, like it felt like a very honest answer. I feel like he was telling the brutally truth. honest. I don't know. They both have nose piercings, and that just screams slut to me. No, I. <laughs> that just. Oh, interesting. I don't think that it screams slut because if I said that about women, that would be wild. I I think that he's. I think that he's done the dirt. I think that he has sinned in his time. Cream slut. Every like, <laughs> I feel like Christian musicians have like a nose ring and like really? they wear like I mean, a hat. I don't and, catch yeah. up with See? I'm Christian right. musicians. Sex is fun and all, but do you know what else is fun? Subscribe. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. God damn it. Fucking Taco Bell ad. Ten choices for three or less. No. So, like one of them is like like very obvious. Do you know what I mean? Like when people think like, oh, this person might be a virgin. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. But do you know who I'm? Do you know who I'm talking about? You got, ladies, you're mic'd up though. Everybody can hear you. <laughs> do you know who I'm talking about? The one with the anime shirt, the one who looks like a fucking virgin. Like like when you Google virgin, this guy's come. This like his face comes up. <laughs> I feel like it might not be what we expect and also, you know, y'all might be really good fibbers. We also have two people that are talking about... Where did blue guy go? Oh. What? AKA moss guy. Moss guy. <laughs> Women love plants, you know? So it's yeah. like, you got plant roots. You can cultivate some gardens, you can cultivate a It's like, hey there little mama, <laughs> you like plants? So the next person eliminated oh. is... They voted out two people? That's fucking stupid. I liked the uh, 
anxious when guy. people think like, oh, this person, it might not be what we expect. And also, you know, y'all might be really good fibbers. We also have two people that are talking about religious beliefs. Yeah. And I know that that's a very big thing. Mm -hmm. So that's throwing me off too. Defend your case. Her hair looks like it gets in her eyes constantly. Like, when she blinks, it moves her hair. I feel like, as a sensory baby myself, I would fucking freak out. We'll start Defend being a virgin. Yeah, we'll start from you. Yeah, I'm just, you know, a virgin. Um, I have not really done anything because I mostly just focus on my studies and I feel like my past experiences kind of change how I came to be. That makes sense. Yeah, I feel oh. like I don't fit the stereotype. I don't know, I just never really got into it. In into what? with women so basically <laughs> the puns are going easy <laughs> hands, <laughs> hands is as far as i've gone in high school and then after that once i started getting focused music started working i guess for me uh i definitely was doing a lot of stuff in high school he talks oh never mind he was doing a lot of stuff i was going to say he talks like a slow christian <laughs> now that is not to say that all christians are slow obviously but you know how christians uh or sometimes very very religious people think about what they say before it comes out of their mouth like you can tell that i'm not religious because i don't give a fuck about what i'm saying but this guy like takes the time that was not supposed to be a diss that was more like a compliment this guy actually takes time to fucking think out what he's saying cool but never went that far and it's, and that kind of carried into like my adult years but i just never went that far just because like god was just telling me like no what were you guys like in like college or high school like did you have a lot of friends did you not have friends did you like partying i was in the marching band in high school and like the Ooh, drum line like, they that's fuck. like the cool people of the marching band yeah oh, marching band still fucks. marching band you know i know <laughs> i played two sports soccer and baseball and then out of school i made music uh or high school i was like a bit of a loner you know i got picked on a lot. I mostly just stuck to like academics. And then in college, COVID came, so I feel like that's also another reason I don't like go out a lot. What's the worst I thing like him. that you've ever lied about? One time, oh God, it's on the spot. Uh, like, I think, uh, so uh -oh. I, uh, I guess I lied to my parents about a test score. Oh, <laughs> that's like Hannah. <laughs> if Hannah was on this, she'd be like, yeah, at one point I wrote an equation on the back of my hand in a no notes test. <laughs> there is no way I mean, that's that that is the biggest lie you ever told. Lying about a chemistry test grade? Mm -hmm. Sir. Okay, okay. I, I literally, I literally have no I was idea. Thinking, okay, who were we voting out? I don't know though, because his answers were super genuine. You know what? Maybe, maybe. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Definitely him. Uh huh. I don't know. This to me feels like um, when I would sit by myself at a lunch table in like middle school and the group of girls at the one table are like just talking about you. Oh, this guy could be a big freaking liar. Let's we'll just pick, let's we'll just pick which one screams virgin to you the most. First which one screams eliminated. virgin to you the most? And then one of them goes, virgin! Wow, I did not expect that. He was just like giggling a lot. You know, sometimes it, when you lie, were freaking me you like giggle. The giggles a were the freaking me out. Stop it. Is... <sighs> it was such a hard. We were so interesting. Sweating. It was no. such okay. a yeah. hard decision okay. that I'm I was panicking. like, if the lights turn green, Andre was telling the truth. And do we, guessed did, right. Did they win anything? If the lights turn red, there was no money Andre talked was about. Lying okay. to you. I hope that one of these guys ends up hitting on these girls after. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've had sex, and I'll tell you how I did it. I am a porn star. I film reverse gangbang porn. That was a, that was a, I'm not even Christian. That was a plug for my own shit. And a plug for my own shit would also be a bubble. <laughs> Damn. I'm not a virgin. Yeah, now we know. I'm telling your pastor. <laughs> Can the real virgin please step forward? Oh, who do we think it is? 
I think it might be Christian, the, the, the other guy. Also raise their hand. Him, I think, I think so. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's go. First guy. I'm a virgin uh, because. Dude, I love that the anime guy is fucking. Can we interview him afterwards? Talk about his body count? Bet you it's higher than everybody else. I've kind of chosen to take that route, um, mainly because of my faith with Christianity. You know, I believe I should stay pure until I'm married, and that's kind of why I've, I've taken that path. Yeah, what do you so think about gay I'm marriage? I'm not a virgin. Oh. Most of half of what my about abortion? Is about oh, sex. Take it back. <gasps> Wait, what do you say? Most of half of my music's about sex. <gasps> and I am in a form of a poly relationship. So. <laughs> Deal. You prefer saying things. So, yeah. So. It keeps me alive. You gotta, you gotta flip. <laughs> we, we were close. And we, we were, were right about him being a freak. I felt like I was a great fit for the show because I'm well aware or I'm confident of how I'm perceived as. And I felt like me being here is able to like break the stereotypes of one Fuck way yeah, or another. dude. That would be great. What the heck does a virgin look like? I don't think that is a thing. It doesn't, you know, it, it challenged all of my stereotypes. Anyone could be a virgin. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what your background so is. So true. I have a lot of friends who are, you know, who have the same faith as me that are not virgin. And that's okay, you know, I just, I'm, I'm still the friend, you know, there's, there's nothing Clearing bad about his name. That. Um, I'm not a virgin and uh, I still have anxiety. <laughs> That's um, yeah. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, that never went away. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of like, you know, what's that other guy's name? Nut? He's trying to like be a character, you know? He's trying to be a silly, silly fella and it's fine. It's fine. You can try to do your shit, but I think Brian was the was the king of all freaks, you know? Let's let's look at Brian's Instagram real quick. This guy fucks. I am the virgin. Believe it. Let's go. Oh. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Proud of you, Brian. You're you're fucking crushing. And uh yeah, I guess I'm I guess I'm a genius. Of course, they brought in Jason Momoa's twin to throw people off. They're like, "Oh, he's attractive, he's beautiful." Virgin, no longer beautiful. <laughs> That's what I've learned from this is that virgins are really weird. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're a virgin, uh be a virgin. If you're not a virgin, you're a sinner. Anyways, uh bye. <laughs>